Here at Preferred Barrel Blanks, we decided to build three different rifle actions into PRS-ready, long-range performance rifles. The three rifle actions we started with are the Ruger American, Hawa 1500, and Tika T3. We built three barrels, all 6mm, 1-8 twist, and 24-inch in length. We chambered each rifle with cartridges commonly used for long-range shooting competitions. To make this comparison more fair to each cartridge, we used the same 105 grain Berger hybrid target projectiles and propelled them with H4350 across all three calibers. Although not ideal for each, we were able to get more direct comparison to how each cartridge performed against one another. In this video, I'm going to review our Tika T3 build. It is chambered in 6mm Dasher Norma, which is the smallest and slowest of the three rifles. While not being the speed demon of the group, we were able to propel a 105 grain bullet at 2800 feet per second with H4350. Case capacity was our limiting factor with that powder. A faster powder is a better choice, but for our comparison we thought it was more important to level the playing field. This smaller cartridge is based off the 6mm BR case design, with a blown out case to push the shoulder forward and increase capacity. Norma made their own version with a slightly longer neck to help with the original Dasher's shortcomings. This cartridge stands its own ground amongst the larger offerings we tested. We were able to determine that amongst these three, the Dasher Norma makes the most use out of each grain of powder, which makes it the most efficient of the bunch. Unfortunately, this was not enough of a difference to catch up to the others, who simply burn more powder and outrun the Dasher. One great thing about reducing powder charge is it also decreases recoil. Any reduction in recoil is a competitive edge. Being able to spot impacts or watch your own trace fly while maintaining a more stable position is a major plus for the Dasher Norma cartridge. For the barrel on the Tika, we fluted our taperless 900 contour with our snakeskin fluting and the bolt body to match. We sprayed the flutes with Patriot Brown Cerakote to make them pop. The muzzle is threaded 5 8 24, which we used for direct threading a Silencer Co. Hybrid 46 can. Its large volume made short work of the 35 grain charge and kept things quiet while we were pulling triggers. Each rifle was topped with the Vortex PST Gen 2 5-25 by 50, sitting in medium Vortex PMR rings mounted to Night Force 20 MOA bases. The trigger pull was lightened with a trigger spring, which definitely is a great value for performance with a price tag of $20. We opted for the KRG Bravo chassis to connect the action to the shooter. The stock was a great fit in the action and had no clearance issues with our pre-fit barrel. Even at .900 diameter, there was ample room with the barrel. The near vertical grip felt great in the hand and comfortable to rest a thumb along the bolt side. The recoil pad was sufficient, although the dasher is very mellow on the shoulder. The Bravo did have the shortest forend of all our builds, but they do offer a spigot mount accessory mounting options up front you can easily overcome if length is something you're after. We were unable to get Magpul AICS mags to seat in the magwell, but our accurate mags were no issue. Inside those accurate mags we are using the MK Machining Magazine Spacer and Follower Kit, which allows smooth feeding from AICS pattern mags with short stubby cartridges, while still leaving plenty of room for long target bullets seated out near the lands. Overall, the Tika build represents money well spent. Not the cheapest, nor the most expensive of our builds, but great value all around and its performance showed with five consecutive hits at 1,370 yards while punching uphill against the faster cartridges. The cartridge choice is simple for reloaders as no fire forming was required or neck resizing, just prime powder bullet shoot. We greatly appreciate you guys watching. Please leave a comment with your thoughts of the build and the cartridge choice. Be sure to subscribe to catch all our future content from Preferred Barrel Blanks and we'll see you guys in the next one.